In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today's Gospel narrates the story of the ten lepers cured by Jesus, yet only one, a Samaritan, and therefore a stranger, returns to Jesus and give thanks. Thus, to glorify God is to do it through Jesus, for it is through His Son, Jesus, that God chooses to save us. Today, too, is Indigenous People Sunday, an Extreme Poverty Sunday. We are reminded that the Lord is present in peoples who appear different from the majority. We may be surprised to know that the indigenous people and the poorest of the poor are rich in values regarding life and reverence to the Creator. Poverty and indigenous brethren have much to teach us. My dear friends, for the many times that we have not been grateful for the many gifts that we have received from one another and from God, we ask God to forgive us our sins. And so we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, Lord. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Naaman, a Syrian and a foreigner, is cured of leprosy and gratefully honors the God of Israel. He reminds us of, us, of the Samaritan leper in the Gospel. A reading from the second book of Kings. Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the word of Elisha, the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean of his leprosy. Naaman returned with his whole retinue to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before Elisha and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Please accept a gift from your servant. Elisha replied, as the Lord lives, whom I serve, I will not take it. And despite Naaman's urging, he still refused. Naaman said, 
If you will not accept, please let me, your servant, have two mule loaves of earth, for I will no longer offer holocaust or sacrifice to any other god except to the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So Paul says that the salvation brought about by the death and resurrection of Christ Jesus is the culmination of all God's gifts. Gratitude prompts us to be loyal to Jesus to the end. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ raised from the dead, a descendant of David. Such is my gospel for which I am suffering, even to the point of chains, like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen, so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, together with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? He has, has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God. Then he said to him, Stand up and go, your faith has saved you. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mukhang may hugot ang ating Panginoon, ano? Sounds like nagtatampo. Dangan nga kasi, sampo yung pumunta sa kanya at humingi ng tulong para pagalingin. And during the time, leprosy was like COVID-19 during our time. Uh, leprosy before ay pinandidirihan and even now at wala pang cure so and if you are sick with leprosy hindi lang yon physical uh, illness but merong moral uh, uh, connotation din yung pagkakaroon ng leprosy kaya nga naman abot-abot yung paghingi ng tulong ng milagro nung sampu and the Lord just said go present yourselves to the priest. And then on their way, going there, perhaps pumunta yung siyam doon, and yet one, one, when he realized that he was cured, immediately returned to the Lord and thanked him. Only one. Eh, kaya nga naman yung sa, ang sagot ng ating Panginoon is that, di ba saan po kayo? Nasaan yung siyam? Di ba saan po kayong nagsisisigaw at humihingi ng tulong, ng milagro, nasaan yung siyam? Bakit ikaw pa na least expected na magpasalamat yung bumalik at nagpasalamat? May hugot ano? No, sounds like nagtatampo. My dear friends, kung nasa kulturang Pilipino yan, maaring ganito yung sabihin pa natin, hindi naturuan pagkabata. Sa marami sa atin, mag, mula nung pagkabata, tinuturuan na tayo kung paano magpasalamat. Di ba? When we receive gift, and then after receiving a gift, ke ice cream yan, ke damit yan, o kung ano pa man yan, malaki o maliit, after receiving, excitement ng bata, babalik doon sa magulang, and then show kung ano yung natanggap. Si magulang naman would always say this, o, oh, what are you going to say? Diba? Oh, anong sasabihin mo? Go back. And then the child would go back slowly and say the words, Thank you. Mula pagkabata, kaya nga kung sa kulturang Pilipino, maaari nating sabihin mo kang atang hindi naturuan ang mga ito kung paano magpasalamat. So what will we say? Thank you. So even from childhood, we were taught the importance of gratitude. But sadly, this is also one value that we take for granted. Lalong-lalo na kapag ka busy na, kapag ka marami nang ginagawa, kapag ka uh, tumatanda na, we take this for granted. O ilan dito sa inyo? Ano yung unang bungad sa isip ninyo at unang salita na namutawi? Uh, pagkagising na pagkagising. Ilan dito ang nagsabing salamat po? Diba? We take it for granted because every day we wake up until we don't. <laughs> every day we get up 
until we don't. Kaya nga, uh, siguro yung iba, kahit na pagising ay nananakit yung mga kasukasuan, sasabihin, talamat Lord, kahit masakit, nakakatayo pa rin. Yung marami sa atin, alam natin na maraming mga pagdadaanan sa araw na ito, may mga pasanin, pero salamat pa rin dahil buhay, nakakatayo, mapapasan pa rin, mahaharap pa rin yung mga challenges na yun. Maraming salamat. Salamat because we know that the challenges will be there, but you have given us enough and sufficient grace to lift whatever it is that we need to carry today in the days to come. And many times nga lang, we are like the nine, forgetting how to be grateful. Bakit nga ba napakahalaga yung pagpapasalamat? Why is gratitude important? Patapos na tayo sa pandemya at uh, papasalamat na tayo, pero merong mas masahol na virus kesa sa pandemya na pinagdadaanin natin ngayon. This is the virus that I call the never enough virus. Ulang lagi, wala, lag, wala. bitin, no? hindi sapat, never enough. No? But gratitude, if we have it in our heart, somebody said, if we have the sense of gratitude, is that it is something that turns whatever we have, even yung kakarampot na meron tayo, into something that is enough, into something that is enough. For all of us, one way or another, afflicted with this never enough virus, ulang lagi, laging merong hindi na ibibigay, kaya nagtatampo, that's a never enough virus. Remember, one writer said that if we have the sense of gratitude in our hearts, whatever little we have, we would look at it as something that is sufficient, as something that is enough. Kaya kapag ka nakikita mo yung mga bagay-bagay sa buhay mo na, alam mo na kulang pa rin, alam mo na sense mo na hindi pa sasapat, alam mo na meron pang mga kakailanganin in the future, but you are able to say to yourself, pwede na itong pagsimulan, buti nga meron, buti may binigay, I know I can begin with this. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. Isa pa, I am reminded of the theme when we celebrated the 500 years of Christianity dito sa Pilipinas. O, ilan, sino pa ba nakakaalala ng tema ng 500 years celebration natin? Nangyari kasi sa panahon ng pandemya kaya hindi natin na ipagdiwang na ng maayos-ayos pero naipagdiwang pa rin ang ganda po ng tema for those who have already forgotten but the theme of the 500 years of Christianity celebration is gifted to give it's a recognition that we have been gifted by this faith that we have right now and that is not something that is simply to be to be taken in our hearts simply kept but a reminder that we have been given a gift in order to give. Kaya nga ang ganda, no? Lalong-lalo na for those who are medyo nakakaalwan sa ating buhay, nakakaalwan sa buhay nila, medyo nasa empower to, uh, to serve in the position, to share, to give. That's not simply a gift for your own. That is a gift that you have received in order to be shared. That's a blessing that was received, but that blessing is not only for you or for us. It demands something more. Isipin nyo na lang kung whatever what we have received, we have only received for our own sakes, for our own families, for our own good. Kanya-kanya. Kanya-kanya. And there will always, it will always be never enough. But if there is that kind of gratitude, then it compels us, it allows us to look at whatever we receive as something that is a gift that must also be shared 
particularly to those who are most in need. Gifted to give. Isa pa, acts of gratitude are acts coming from, sabi nga nung isang, isang author, the better angels of our nature. Yung sense of gratitude, yung magpasalamat, yung aso na tuturuan to follow tricks, yung mga hayop ay natitrain, but yung sense of gratitude is something that is very human. Diba? Uh, tao lang yung marunong authentically na magpasalamat sa mga bagay-bagay na natanggap. Kaya nga kapag hindi tayo marunong magpasalamat, I believe we are becoming less and less human. And the more that we become human, ito yung maganda. The more that we become human, the more that we become divine. Kaya nga po sa misa natin, ang Santa Misa, ang tawag natin dyan Santa Misa, pero meron pa pong isang tawag dyan, Eucharistia. And Eucharistia ay isang Greek word that means thanksgiving. So every time that we celebrate the Mass, we are expressing our gratitude for the best gift that we have ever received that can never be replaced and no other gift can compare with that gift. At ano yun? Kundi ang ating Panginoon. And that's what we celebrate every time we celebrate the Mass. It's a thanksgiving, Eucharistia. Kaya nga, pagpupunta rito, alam ko marami kayong hinihingi, ano? Alam ko marami kayong pinapanalangin. Marami magbo-board exam na naman. Marami mga mga lapis, calculator, uh, mga uniform, napapablesan. But, no? At the same time, sabi nga nung isang santo, no? Be ahead and giving thanks. Kahit na hindi pa dumadating, learn how to be grateful. Because that is what, how we become more and more like God. Dito rin po, sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, ang community po namin, ito ah, uh, ay, kami po ay nakakatanggap. We are very grateful sapagkat we are always aware na kung ano man yung nasa table, ano man yung nasa ref, ano man yung mga ini-enjoy namin, alam namin na gift yan. Kaya nga po, doon sa refectory namin, doon sa kusina, merong isang whiteboard ang nakalagay doon kapag kami nagbigay, alam namin kung saan ang galing yung nagbigay. Kapag kainipit yan, ah, may bulakin yung deboto. Kapag bigas yan, ah, most probably galing yan sa Nueva Ecija. Kapag kami, ay, may bagnet, oh, galing yan sa Ilocos. So we know, and we write it there because that's how we would like to practice gratitude. Maraming salamat because for those we have been given been giving us, small or big, it is always accounted for. So when we are gifted, the best, one of the best way also to appreciate that gift is to take care of it. Kaya nga po, ang laki, ang laki ng aming responsibilidad sa mga diboto, sa mga sponsors, sa mga benefactors na nagbibigay to ensure that every penny, everything that you have given ay napupunta doon sa dapat kapuntahan sa pangangalaga ng minor basilika, sa scholarship program, sa mga mga proyekto, and it's all accounted for. We take effort in recognizing that by giving acknowledgement receipt and yung mga hindi nagpapakilala, dinalagay na lang po namin dun sa whiteboard. Maraming maraming salamat. Gratitude. Diba? It makes our heart feel lighter. Lastly, kung hindi pa kayo kumbinsido doon sa kahalagaan ng pagpapasalamat, sana ang huling bahagi ng ating buhay when we are about to pass from this world to our home in heaven, sana ang huling salita na mamutawi sa atin ay maraming salamat po. Di ba? Maraming salamat po. Ang iksing salita pero ang gaan at punong puno ng kahulugan makes us more human but also makes us more divine. My dear friends, we pray with St. Thomas Aquinas in this very beautiful prayer, O God, 
grant that whatever good things I have, I may share generously with those who have not, and whatever good things I do not have, I may request humbly from those who do. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly all stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten, the begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, we came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, through, with, and in your Son, Jesus Christ, you enable us to give thanks to you Holy and genuinely, thus with grateful hearts we approach you in supplication as we say, Lord, grant us grateful hearts. Lord, grant us grateful hearts. May we, your church, work together for your kingdom, always and everywhere in gratitude to your grace that sustains. We pray. Lord, grant us grateful hearts. Guide our national and local leaders so that they may work in gratitude to you. Help them realize that without you, everything they do or work for will be done in vain. We pray. Lord, grant us grateful hearts. We lift up to you our brethren who belong to indig indigenous groups and those living in extreme poverty. Move our hearts for the good of these brothers and sisters, so they too may be able to fully participate in the building up of your kingdom. We pray. Lord, grant us grateful hearts. Embrace those who have gone before us into eternal communion with you. We pray. We also include in our prayers the special intentions of all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, especially for those who are sick, for those who are going through difficult times, that they may find consolation and strength through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us grateful hearts. We also pause for a while and in silence, you offer your thanksgiving for the many gifts that you have received from God, and you also include your personal intentions. Direct, we beseech you, O, o Father, our heart, mind, and will, so that we may become grateful workers of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you lay the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons you form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. May call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you beheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you.
please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Bago ko po ibigay yung final blessing muli po, maraming maraming salamat sa pakikiisa ninyo sa banal na misa, sa pagdalaw ninyo sa minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, sa patuloy na suporta po ninyo that allows us to continue the projects and then the works uh, here at the Minor Basilica and for the Children of Mary. Maraming salamat po for your generosity. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you gifts of his blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening 
along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing po ng mga may sakit. Andito, nasa bahay, we include them in our prayers. And this is to be followed by the prayer for the blessing ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness so that our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, let's bless them. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.